this is my painting gear um, and I'll explain what these are um, they're what I always use when I when I go someplace and everything I painted came in those bags this is a large uh, Architrix bag it's a Bora 50 I'm not sure of the price but it's just one large uh, container that can hold everything plus like a day trip the other one the green one is uh, a small backpack that I found not sure exactly what where the brand is sold or but they're similar ones everything fits in it and here are my items this is a uh, gator board and it's been around a very long time as you can tell it's seen a lot of action um, but it's a proper size it's the same size as this palette and this is the John Pike and I love it because the mixing surfaces are so large and also the places for the, the paint and this is a water dish that I use to wash my brushes usually I'm near a stream or a lake and I can just go get water from it I really love that little thing the other thing is, is seating and I've got probably five that I've bought that are some are ultra light one has a back to it this one pops together really good it's got rip uh, it's got bungee cord and it opens up into a little triangle seat but the problem is is that the feet are small so if you're in a marshy area you got to put something on the bottom you know like pieces of gator board that you can bring along so you don't sink I know from experience done a lot of sinking um, as far as brushes go I started out with kind of a roll-up velcro type um, brush holder it's really nice uh, but I ended up with more of something that was flat and uh, it's more book like the blue one and I've got everything in there from pencils to uh, art gum kneaded erasers and brushes and this is a an ivory piece that's used to score uh, arches watercolor paper when you score it then you can break it and it'll make a nice edge this is a blending agent that keeps from drying keeps the paint from drying and you can blend it things more easily for longer and that's a cat uh, these are two retired uh, smaller uh, palettes and they have both of them have holes in the bottom but the mixing, mixing surfaces are nowhere near as, as nice as the John Pike palette and this is the last one I, I tried it has good size but uh, the places for the paint are very small so anyway it went away and painting surfaces I use arches uh, watercolor block I've got a, it's a rough uh, texture 140 pound and because it's gunned on the edges uh, it won't curl and this is a larger version of it and it's all gummed around the edge and this is a 140 pound cold press uh, arches the cool thing about arches is that you can put tape on it tape it down you can put masking tape on it pull it off it won't tear the paper I, it's the most amazing stuff the 140 is better I think than the 300 here's another piece of that's a cold press uh, arches 100 press 100 pound and this is a 300 pound piece and you can see how thick it is but it absorbs uh, colors and actually darkens them I, I really don't like painting on it but when you get it wet it doesn't curl this is Strathmore uh, watercolor paper and it's really nice because it's not it's absorbent as the others uh, as arches and so the colors stay on the surface more and it has a really interesting way of uh, taking color so give that a shot um, that's about all I can think of in the background you can see a little umbrella that I have and when I'm set up I usually have room for that and so I guess that's pretty much it 
Merry Christmas. Bye.